Immediately, when you step in, right, like you said, calm. It's very calm. A light shot, unlike anything you've ever seen. I think this is a light museum. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tastemakers. Today we are here at Craig Road Gallery 5 by Soul Luminaire. I'm so excited because this is a light shop unlike anything you've ever seen. Right, yeah, so usually when I think of light shops, I think of all the light shops along Balestier. Mm. So you walk in, you see all these chandeliers, it's very lit up. Mm. So when I came in here, I was actually very surprised by the elegance of the space. Mm. And I think today we're going to find out what makes it so unique. And I, I want to boast a little bit because I actually got one of their pieces in my dining room. No way! Yeah. See, like this guy very... Um, What's the word? Lit. Very lit. Get it? What's your intended user experience behind this? What we want to have is to have a very bespoke tailor walkthrough with our clients to let them understand the process of the lamps and why lights actually do play a critical part in our homes or even commercial spaces. Okay guys, let's go have a tour at Gallery 5. Let's do this. So this is level 1 of Gallery 5. Um, Basically, what we wanted to do to have the traditional facade, right, is to also house modernized art objects, you know, lighting objects to really fit into today's homes, today's interior. Gallery 5 houses at least a minimum of five resident brand partners. So we have some from Ukraine, from the States, from Belgium, as well as our local architectural downlights. Immediately when you step in, right, like you said, calm. It's very calm. We integrated some micro cement works uh -huh. and also partners from like Mr. PCI, you know, Siri Custom Concrete to really give it a very calm experience like what you guys mentioned. This is actually from our Ukrainian brand partner, okay. uh, Magno Studio. So what he wanted to integrate was to have multiple layers of copper sheets being soldered together. So yeah, so then it's being hammered to give this kind of porous effect. So looks heavy, looks large, but it's not. Oh. And it's quite hollow. In a sense, like each piece that you get here will be a unique piece. You are right. Alright, so Tukai, we noticed that there's quite a bit of text on the walls here and they're very tasteful as well. What was your idea behind this? So the idea behind this is because we wanted to create a more museum-alike gallery mm -hmm. rather than a conventional lighting store. Yeah. So it's also to really summarize what, you know, what are we moving forward and what's down the pipeline. You will notice that we have curved booths to really house individual product design. Okay. This is because what we wanted to do was to also allow our users, our clients to be focused on a spot rather than it's always all around the space. So from there it was kind of like coral, a little bit more like very water based. <laughs> yeah. Then here it's very earthy, very right? Earthy. It's literally called crust. Layers of yeah. the crust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We also hung you know, mirrors on the walls ah. to show that individual pieces, collectible designs are still again functional. Can you please tell me what is going on here? Is this a cloud? What Ruben, is this? Right. Do you know what this is? No, what is Scalp treatment. It's got oh, steam. Oh. <laughs> this is a lamp made from ceramic. Okay. So it has polyesterine as its base. So this is also from our Ukrainian partner, Magno Studio. Oh. So everything is also handcrafted once more. Okay, so this is level 2 of Gallery 5. We noticed the skylight coming right, in. Right, right. And it's interesting because you put lights underneath the yes, skylight. Yes, so what we wanted to do was actually, you know, sidetrack a little bit. This was almost the deciding factor why we wanted to expand into here. Oh. Okay. Right. Yeah. So why we wanted to have this mini courtyard is to also introduce our outdoor range of products. Mm -hmm. Right. So what we wanted to have in mind is to it has to reflect back to the product's mm. durability. Okay. So it's able to withstand in harsh environments. What we wanted to do was to have also clients to hang around here. Okay, right. You know, not everything has to be seated also actually. Mm. So once you are hanging around with the items and as well as the space layout, you know, it's it gets a little bit more comfortable. So standing tables like this is to have our clients, you know, be more comfortable, yeah. soaked in the products that you are actually eventually gonna get. Uh, at the back is almost like a cocoon-like kind of um, space. Cocoon-like yeah. space. So you press switch it back on. The first button. Okay. And then it automatically brings up, you know, right. this kind of um, brightness setting. So it really depends on the user experience. Okay. So why I mentioned it's gonna be like a cocoon light because the curved walls actually finishes up. And if you notice, each curve actually represents each series of lights. Mm. 
Okay, so this is level 2's lounge area. So what we had in mind was to of course have a more eye level positioning for pendant lights like these guys and also to create a communal space for our clients to again feel more comfortable. At the second level, you can always view the outside. Mm, so it's right. always more relaxing. Mm. You know, it kind of makes things a little bit less constrained. Yeah, less claustrophobic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One unique point of them is because they are all hand weave uh, and hand wrapped by Trico. So what you're going to get is you're going to get a very airy dispersion through the material. Right. What's Trico? Trico is a form of fabric, not a Pokemon. Though. Oh, you, you, you know Trico a Pokemon? <laughs> I was going to tell you that uh, I've never played Pokemon. D does anyone <laughs> know Trico? <laughs> you have the wrong kind of lighting and we have the wrong kind of colour temperature, it might make things a little bit too harsh. Oh, oh. So oh, yeah. this is something a little bit more like office space oh. and nobody wants to return home to an office like yes. structure, oh. right? What we always emphasize a lot on the color wow. rendering index, yeah. it actually brings the true tonality of the paintings. Wow. Uh, yeah. 7 out of 10, <laughs> right? Uh, okay, 7 out of 10. Wait, what? what? 10 out of 10. Out of okay, we will work out. 10 out of 10. Okay, yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. So this is at level 3 of Gallery 5. So what we had here is to showcase on an effect called circadian rhythm. What we want to do is to integrate artificial lighting to help humans adjust to the outside world's colour temperature. Oh. So what I mean by that is with a simple device and a link up, you can actually control the light's colour temperature oh. to oh, wow. your desired temperature up to 5000K. It also helps users to schedule their preferred time of the day to have right. a desired colour temperature. Right. And then if you notice, we are actually continuing the curvature finishes. Yes. So it's to also separate the different kind of visual outlook. So one side you have square, and the other side you have round. But everything has an intention. Yeah. So it's to really dissect the space and to also maximize what we can have. Yeah. So this is why there is a back-to-back -back couch here. Mm, so okay. again, it's to make things a bit more communal. Okay. It's more comfortable rather than it's very cold. Zikai, okay. thank you so much for showing us around this cool space. No worries. I hope this space actually meets up to you guys' expectations. I think it's so past <laughs> our expectations. Yeah. For, for me like, at least. For sure. I know I, your expectations were. Yeah. I have one last question though. Right. Uh, is there food here? Uh, go, we go, do go. light snacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we only serve sparkling water. If you guys want to have that. Uh... Okay, so we got our light snacks. What do you think of the, the place today? Okay, so one thing that keeps coming to my mind, right, is early on I said light shop. Mm. And I would like to take that back. I think this is a light museum. Wow. It's Seriously. Yeah, it deserves the title. Right. I think what struck me about this place, and actually, like you know, we've done a couple episodes now, mm. is that um, a lot of them have integrated curvature and curves yes. into the space. Yeah, it just brings the space to life. It helps to dissect things without yeah, yeah, making yeah. it seem too forced. Yeah. Right? So I didn't know that there's so much like softness you can add mm. to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Soft curves. I, you're is talking about the space, yeah, or? It's... Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah but... Okay, so we know that the lights here may not be for everybody, but if you are into more designer pieces, you should definitely come and check out this gallery. Absolutely. So on that note, that officially wraps up the tour for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, if you have any other places you'd like us to maybe go and have a look at, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Mm. And um, to wrap everything up, do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye-bye! We are here today at Craig Road. Road, eh? Road. My name is Woban Wanawach. <laughs> <laughs>